Kate Garmin. Can you explain to me exactly what is Botox? Well, Botox is actually a registered trade name, like um, Bernardo, and the active substance is paracetamol. And in South Africa, we get Botox and Dysport. And what does Botox do? Botox goes and sits on cholinergic nerve endings, which are responsible for muscle contraction. They paralyze the muscle by blocking the nerve signal, but not to worry, after three months, you develop new nerve endings and the muscle will contract again. Um, Nina, the thing with Botox is it's a lot preventative. So, especially with, in my case, where I talk a lot with my face, you need earlier intervention is best rather prevent than to treat the line. You use it for your wedding. Yes. And weren't you scared that if you're gonna use Botox before your wedding that you're not gonna look like you anymore? Well, that's the thing. If you go before your wedding, you have to have a treatment three or four months before the time. So you know what to expect, you know the results, and you can communicate with your doctor to see what is your expectations and how you want to look. So you were happy? Okay. I was very happy. No frown. No frown, light rejuvenated facial appearance. Happy face. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my friends and people that I know have started using Botox, but I've got no idea what it's all about or what the long-term effects are. So I thought I'd go visit a few doctors to find out more. Is using Botox safe? It's definitely a safe procedure when administered by a health professional in a health setting. It's been on the market for at least 21 years and is uh, used worldwide in 78 countries. Um, it's very important that you have to know your patient and its medical conditions to prevent any adverse uh, you know, effects. Um, so it's definitely a safe procedure. And what are the side effects of the long-term effects of using Botox? It's very difficult to say because a lot of people and patients doesn't know if they have a hypersensitivity to the botulinum toxin type A. So after administration of the Botox in the you know, specific areas, it's, um, you will see the adverse reactions if it happens to a patient. And it's very important to note that we are equipped to basically handle any adverse uh, effects that may occur. So, is it dangerous? It's definitely not dangerous. Okay. A lot of people say it's dangerous. It's definitely not dangerous. It's a, it's a safe procedure. It's a quick and easy procedure, relatively painless. So, uh, nothing to be concerned about. So, what happens when I stop using Botox? Yes, some patients have been concerned when they stop the treatments. Um, they ask, will their lines come back? Will it be more severe? Um, and perfectly true that Botox is completely reversible and safe. The day when you stop, yes, your lines will come back, but every single time you use the treatment, it will be less severe. And except for the, the physical benefits, what other benefits does Botox have? Well, it's not a necessity and it's not a life-saving product, but it's life-changing. And it gives people a youthful, new version of themselves. And then it's worth it. So there's this idea that Botox is really expensive. Is it really or how affordable is it? I think if you look at the affordability of Botox, you have to look at the longevity of the Botox. Botox lasts anything from three to six months. So majority of patients will come for a top up every four months. If you compare this to what most of the girls out there and even the guys are spending on face creams per month to get away wrinkles, it's very, very much affordable because the Botox is actually addressing the cause of these wrinkles. We're not just speaking about the superficial layer of the skin when we're working with Botox. We're actually going deeper to address the cause of these wrinkles. So in a nutshell, Botox is actually very affordable compared to what we're spending on other things to try and get a wrinkle away. Hello Nina, I'm Christian Nubar. Pleased to meet you. I think, Nina, the first thing that we think of when we examine any patient for um, well, Botox or any hyperdynamic lines is that we want to first just uh, make you understand also why some lines are more prominent and why injecting some areas will actually um, well, make a, a bigger difference than others. So I think the first thing that we're going to look at is just let's look at yourself. When you look in the mirror, as you said, the frontal lines and the crow's feet are the most 
worrisome things that bothers you. Surely you're young and beautiful, so at the moment there's not a lot of things that we need to do. <laughs> but um, I think, once again, uh, if we start with the central part, mm -hmm. this is usually the keystone for Botox. The other area, as you mentioned, is the little crow's feet that starts on the side. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting um, question also, how many crow's feet is normal in some um, People say three is fine, some people say five is fine, so depending on, on which uh, culture you also ask, it will, it will differ. So, you know, the other interesting fact is that if we take out the muscles that wants to pull down your brows, the frontalis muscle are stronger and that will give you a lifting effect. So that's the added advantage of having Botox. <laughs> the other important thing to notice, however, is if you have heavy brows, and you start doing too much on your forehead, you will take the frontalis muscle out as well. And then, instead of having a lifting effect, you will have a drooping on the edge of your brow, which is not ideal. Yeah, well, so that's, that's why you've got to go to a proper doctor. That's the right thing to <laughs> say, yes. So let's begin. Ready for the rest? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do so. Your lunch hour. Quick fix. Quick fix has been it's done. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. It's a big pleasure. <laughs>